Hello Nottingham, I'm delighted to be introducing this virtual Christmas service. This year has not been the year that any of us expected. Although it's a shame that we can't do the Christmas service in person, I'm really pleased that we've found a way to capture the essence of our usual celebration at St Mary's Church. And this year we're open to all, as we can be watched in homes across the city, which is quite something. This has been an unprecedented year and has been difficult for many people. Our day-to-day -day lives have been dramatically changed, unfortunately, some of us have seen our livelihoods put at risk and sadly some of us have lost loved ones. This year many people have experienced loneliness and isolation. Despite all the challenges that this pandemic has brought, it has been so inspiring to see how the city has pulled together. Key workers, carers, NHS, police and other frontline staff have worked tirelessly to serve our city, putting themselves at risk to keep us safe. And our community groups and volunteers have stepped up in droves, finding new and innovative ways to support Nottingham people. We will be rightly proud the community spirit has been shown this year and I'm sure that the same willingness to help others will see us through this winter and beyond. Although it's been a tough year, I've been really pleased to see some of our most treasured civic events have been able to continue, albeit in different ways. This year we've been able to celebrate VE Day VJ Day and the 80th anniversary of the Battle of Britain. Although we've not been able to gather together, I'd like to offer my personal thanks to the Civic Team for enabling these events to be commemorated in a meaningful way for the City. I do hope you enjoy this service and that it brings a sense of togetherness for you as we celebrate Christmas and the festive period as a city. In this service, we hear and receive the good news of the birth of Jesus Christ. As we gather together in the name of Christ, we pray for the world he came to save. For the church, that it may be enabled in our generation to s surrender anew to God's holy wisdom and bear the good news of God's love to a needy world. We pray for the world that all its people may recognise their responsibility for its future and may be inspired by the message of Christmas to work together for the establishment of justice, freedom and peace everywhere. And we pray for all in special need, the sick, the anxious, the lonely, the fearful and the bereaved, that the light of Christ may bring hope and healing to all who sit in darkness. So we commend all whom we love or who have asked for our prayers to the unfailing mercy of our Heavenly Father.
Our Christmas wish is for all people to be treated equally, no matter what they believe in or their ethnicity. We should all stand united and be proud of the individuals that we are. My Christmas wish is that all the elderly people in the care homes are able to see their families and they can have a great Christmas together. Our Christmas wish is that everyone will be joyful because we know that this year with the pandemic it has been very hard for a lot of people. We also want to thank all the doctors and nurses and everyone who has been tirelessly working through this pandemic. Our Christmas wish is for the government to fund more resources to help disinfect this virus also. Our other Christmas wishes for COVID-19 to evaporate because of all of the elderly people that are in a care home and don't get to see their family this Christmas. My Christmas wish is to help children all over the world and for their hospitals to be empty so that the NHS can have a rest. Just remember, we may have our mask on, but we are still smiling and pleased. We truly and faithfully wish to spread warmth and affection in these troubling times. Our year might have been appalling, but it won't stop us from smiling. Remember, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Our Christmas wish is for the elderly people in care homes to be able to see their family and friends during the festive holidays. We also wish that the people who are homeless get all of the support they need. Our Christmas wish we for all people with different religions and different races to be respected and treated equally. We believe we should stand tall and fight for peace. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of darkness, on them a light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulder, and he is named Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forever. Thanks be to God.
the birth of Jesus foretold. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favoured, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, you have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Thanks be to God. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. There was the first registration and was taken while Quirinus was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Thanks be to God.
the shepherds go to the manger. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace amongst those with whom he is well pleased. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. Thanks be to God. The wise men visit the Holy Family. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and worship him. 
When the wise men had heard King Herod, they set out. And there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. Thanks be to God. Only last year, I spoke in St. Mary's Church filled with hundreds of people who joined the Lord Mayor and other civic dignitaries for a beautiful carol service led by three wonderful school choirs. But last year seems a century ago now, and instead of meeting in person, here I am, addressing you on camera. What a year we have had. The global pandemic, a global lockdown, the US election and Brexit. And now, finally, some good news. The vaccine is coming our way. What a transformation the whole world has been going through. The world now is living on screen because we cannot meet each other in person unless we're in the open air. And the cold air isn't very conducive for long walks. We went from one lockdown into another and no one knows yet when it will be over. Our thoughts are with all those people who will not be able to reunite with their families nor to see their friends during this special festive period. Who could have imagined last Christmas that we wouldn't be dealing with one of the largest pandemics of our times only months later? Right now, we are living through historic events which have changed the world and taught us not to take people and things for granted. We are making history by refusing to surrender to the voices of despair and fear within us, by refusing to surrender to the darkness of our long nights and the sense of overwhelming loneliness. We give each other hope and keep our faith in humanity's divine sparkle. Viktor Frankl, the 20th century psychiatrist and Holocaust survivor said, everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the lust of the human freedoms to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. So now it is our turn to decide how we are going to make history at this special time of year. How do you want to be remembered when this time of shared struggle is reviewed? Would you like to join me and see this as an opportunity to show courage in the time of adversity and light the darkness of the season around us with the light of our heart and deeds of loving kindness? Is it not our turn to show resourcefulness and creativity in meeting the challenge of the century? And there are many ways in which we can do this. Did you send your parents or grandparents a card this year? Why not make one or even two yourself? Why not make a special gift for your elderly neighbor or a Christmas card with a home-cooked meal for a homeless person? Why not record a special festive video for your grandparents or deliver a special gift for them by yourself so you can have a conversation with them outside their door? Why not walk an extra mile for our loved ones and people in need during this festive period? Making an effort does not cost money and the deeds of loving kindness not only build our own resilience towards the challenges of the lockdown and the pandemic, but also help to kindle that light that illuminates darkness and brings hope to the people around us. 
A good deed brings another good deed. Let's light the darkness of the season with the light of our good deeds and therefore light the world around us with hope, love and warmth. Despite all of COVID's efforts to ruin our celebrations, have a blessed festive season and if you celebrate Christmas, make it a joyful one.
Let us pray. Christ, born in a stable, give courage to all who are homeless, particularly to young people who find themselves homeless, and that they may be brought into contact with those who can help them. Jesus, Saviour, hear our prayer. Christ, for whom the angels sang, give the song of the kingdom to all who weep, particularly to those who mourn the absence of those they love, those who've been bereaved this year. Jesus, Saviour, hear our prayer. Christ, worshipped by the shepherds, give peace on earth to all who are oppressed, particularly those experience, experiencing financial hardship at this time and those in abusive relationships of one sort or another. Jesus, Saviour, hear our prayer. Christ, before whom the wise men knelt, give humility and wisdom to all who govern, those who govern in our city, in our nation. Jesus, Saviour, hear our prayer. Christ, whose radiance filled a lowly manger, give the glory of your resurrection to all who rest in you, particularly those who have died this year and those whose memory remains bright. Jesus, Saviour, hear our prayer. And let us pray together the prayer for our city. O oh God, give us a vision for our city, that it may be a city of justice, a city of prosperity, and a city of peace, in which vice and poverty cease to fester, children play in the streets in safety, and the elderly walk without fear. Grant to this city of Nottingham such respect for all peoples, that work, education and health are available for all. Enlarge our minds, our wills and our hearts, that we may dream great dreams and have the boldness to bring them into effect. Hear thou, O Lord, the prayer of all our hearts. Amen. And let me now pray a final blessing. 
May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you always. Amen. And may I wish you all a very, very happy Christmas. On behalf of the council and the city, I want to say a huge thank you to all the key workers in the city who will be working over Christmas, sacrificing time with their own families to keep us safe. This year, the festive period will be different and we'll celebrate in different ways. But I hope you have time to be with your loved ones in one way or another. We're looking forward to 2021, bringing a better year for all.